Oh, right. Now play this video. So, uh, I, we are. Unable to get the audio. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You are able to see video. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, I I can see the video. Uh, we have never software. been able to see them yeah, before. Now, now I can hear the audio. To me, it's like the pencil of microscopy. But I'm not able to carry your audio. pencil with you. <laughs> Everybody has a pencil box with some pencils. I, I'm not able to hear the audio. Pencils are everywhere, so should be microscopes. I have a very uh, simple just, vision just, of just, every just, single kid in the world carrying around a microscope in their pocket. Can you imagine what this thing could do that I to love? To make so microscopes as ubiquitous around. as pencils, bioengineer Manu Prakash and his colleagues designed one that's not just cheap, but also small oh. and foldable made mainly out of paper. So once everybody has a sheet... The reason it's made out of a flat sheet of paper is not just the fact that paper is a cheap material, but paper has a phenomenal property that if you fold you it properly audio? in a given set of instructions, yes, it gives rise to precision. We're going to fold it so it's oh, on top uh, of video, itself. Uh, you can align optics that is important for a microscope to work in yeah. ways that would generally require a lot more resources. Uh, video, YouTube video which I'm sharing, no? you're able small. to hear? Conventional yes. optics can be hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands Yes, it is audible. The last lens that we're okay, using actually, I think is only six and a half cents a piece. Because and I can hear your voice, I can't speak twice. The video, uh, so audio is not hard to hear. So, audio and video both are clear, sir. And, 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 and then you put it's the It's clear for you, but not for me. I am both things. I should also know what Okay, okay. It was very okay, okay. crucial to build a tool that uh, you literally could use all the time, not worry about whether you're going to break it or not. What you want to do is the most important because thing, not the tool. each platform is a little different. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, oh, so we are also evolving. So we are trying out different Hold platforms it. to see which Hold is best for us. And so so oh from henceforth, we'll be using Zoom only yeah. because all the faculty, uh, so I presume, are using Zoom. Zoom I have black things in handle hand. classes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so so show, we, show we choose Zoom. The living um, world far no, supersedes no, our imagination of how things actually work. Oh you see my god! You see the perfect man! Yeah. I should stop. Huh? Re, 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 re share? No, not re And to just see that. It and you can speak. See, our output is being put in the the settings are correct. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom sharing. Uh, mm -hmm. Here it is. Mm -hmm. I'm doing so uh, earlier, share computer sound, no, it was not on. Mm -hmm. I clicked it, then only you started hearing. Yes. Oh. So I'll remove this. We cannot hear. I can also, I, even I cannot hear that. Okay. I can add this. And it's People fantastic to actually do this with mm. kids who have really, no stereotype. Really good. Good to see. Here it is. This is a panel. I think this over here. Thank you. This is a panel. Mm -hmm. this yeah, since I'm sharing the video, panel is like that. If you close the video, your mm -hmm. regular panel. Yes. Oh, okay, here it is. Speaker. Speaker, headphones, headphones. Correct. Oh, the other. Motor. I'll go to stereo and see. Headphones. Of what it means to do science. We found a nematode and a weird looking cell. There is no notion of this is a good question no. and then this is a bad question or this is what you should ask. See, it keeps spinning. There is no prize. The prize is in the experience. Do people have other ideas of what is the first thing they want to do when they go home today? If there was one thing you wanted to look at, yes. I would want to look.
Take it here. Input also it changes. It's not taking. See, this is a. It output is same. Yeah. Input means then it is taking here. Mm. I'm disconnecting your. You remove this, yes. It's okay. Yes. There is a problem with this. Let us Cancers, and I'm scratching my head. What's in there? You know how much bacteria do dogs have? I, I don't brush my dog's teeth. Can you hear the uh, sound of the video? Eat every day, so the, the diversity of bacteria they're going to have might just be incredible. So now we can uh, hear the, the the video's audio. Can't wait. Can you hear the video's audio? Yes. yes sir. To actually my do that. my audio. Yes. Okay, then we then we start. Okay, then we'll go ahead. This we can show this video later also. Or that experiment right away. <laughs> In 2015, after several years of developing the full scope, Prakash and his colleagues decided to share their invention with people around the world. We just said one day, why don't we make 50,000 of them and just give them to people? They have now shipped full scopes to people in more than 130 countries. There are people in Iran, Syria, Mongolia, Indonesia, all kinds of places in India, China, Russia, all parts of Africa. We knew that people would do creative things, but the explosive nature of what people did with it is really the most heartwarming story for me. In India, students in remote areas are using fold scopes to improve crop management. The fold scope can really help with some preventive measures. For example, if you look at leaves, if you see that there are pest eggs that are coming up on the leaves, we can localize which part of the agriculture field is being infested. In the Amazon, researchers are studying insects in their habitat. Insects are small and out in the rainforest they're hyper diverse and hyper abundant. So that's why I was sort of interested in this more portable robust piece of equipment that I could take out with me. And in Tanzania they're exploring the relationship between their environment and their health. When a person uses this horoscope, they realize that it is it is good to wash hands because they have seen that there is dangerous bacteria which they will make me to have suffering from different diseases. Many people have said the most fun they have in science is when they not only just discover something, but when they tell somebody what they discovered. To facilitate this communication, the team created a website where Foldscope users could share their findings. I was really amazed that a microscope could be made out of paper and could work so well. Okay, this is me trying to wrangle down this little shrimp guy. I added some moss here just to make it more homey, which is kind of weird now that I say it out loud. Perfect. Wow. It's changed how I perceive the spaces in which I live. Places that seem like they're very manicured or actually very wild. I had no idea bug wings were hairy. No idea, right? There is one very special example to me that stands out. This is a mother-daughter pair where the daughter is only six year old. And the daughter, just like many other kids, loves the movie Frozen. So we decided to do a project that was all studying ice and crystals. 
And so every sort of crystal that we could really think of. We examined it under the fold scope. Yeah. One of the things I really loved was how it was a community that allowed a lot of different people from around the world and Manu and his colleagues to work with us directly. Because we had a lot of things we tried to grow as on slides with like crystals that just didn't work. And we could say, hey, we've got trouble. There are times when she posted just a single sheet which said, please help, because she was trying to image ice cream and she would take it out and the ice cream would melt. And then she figured out she could put the full scope inside the freezer. It was kind of different. But we got some fun things and sticky fingers out of it. She loved the sticky fingers out of the <laughs> ice cream. The online community is perhaps one of the most attractive aspects of the Foldscope. When you see a beautiful post by somebody or when you see a certain, say, a fly, do you want to go and see it yourself? So this aspect of sharing of science is something which is very unique. And people are even able to post in their local language and get responses in local language. To me, what's most important about this tool is not just to the service of science, but science to the service of these people. What is the community gaining out of it? And that's what my goal is. The fact that a lot of the world right now doesn't have access to the most basic science tools means that a large portion of the world is not participating in the creation of new knowledge. Scientific capability should be a fundamental right. Why is it that we don't move towards a society where people are actually engaged in scientific discovery to a point where they have some role to play directly in it? And of course, you will never be able to do everything that's done in a sophisticated lab built with millions of dollars, but you can start. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, good morning and warm welcome to all the participants. And we are on the new platform today. I hope you enjoy this platform as well. There were certain constraints in Zoho and uh, we preferred Zoho because that was a, a new product that has come to market and it is a startup. So we wanted to encourage the startup community. So we tried that, but uh, what I understand is they are just testing the platform. Uh, so we are back to Zoom. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. This is one of the favorite uh, video of mine. I have been following Manu Prakash like almost a decade. For 10 years, I've been following his videos and his uh, work. This uh, fold scope is nothing but uh, basically origami based microscope. And in fact, Manu Prakash developed this to identify, uh, you know, protozoans in water, especially malarial parasite, uh, that is a uh, plasmodium falciparum. That was the thing he wanted to identify and he developed this fold scope. This is a battery free, uh, you know, the cost of this microscope is 30 cents, which is like one third of a dollar, like around, uh, say, 25 rupees. This one microscope you get. So cheap it is. And uh, maybe a later point after my I'll show, show how he has developed a blood separator uh, using uh, a small toy which we have been, you know, you all remember in your childhood, you might be using this device. Um, um, so with the hand, you, you know, centrifuge at very high speed, that blood gets separated. It will get separated into plasma and RBC, WBC. Then you can collect what you want and do it. So in capillaries. And I also show that how innovation, no? Here, I, I, why I showed this video was how a laboratory innovation something of so simple like a fold scope could have a far reaching consequence or, or something very um, important device in, in diagnostics and uh, environmental management uh, and many such areas. So you would have seen some people have used this fold scope for fun. You know, there was a girl who was trying to look at sugar crystals or ice flake, how it looks like, like under microscope. Uh, to uh, someone in Africa who was looking at uh, you know worms 
uh, their eggs and larvae in the drinking water uh, so that's that's uh, how customers uh, can you you might be uh, using i mean you you might have something in mind and develop the product but customer has a different uh, uh, thinking altogether how to use the product so that's where uh, customers add lot of uh, value uh, you know it's a it's a feedback mechanism uh, how customers can use your products in very 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 different ways i'll give you an example from my own uh, you know experience see uh, we have i was from biology department and uh, we had a catalog you know all of you know what catalog means it 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 contains a list of uh, a particular materials or chemicals or something so we had this particular chemical uh, company called sigma altrich okay this was like almost 2000 page uh, uh, catalog so many chemicals used to be there and uh, uh, but that sigma was the only company which was printing uh, the catalog book on a paper which is a uh, glossy it contained 2000 pages very thin very thin paper but highly glossy means it doesn't absorb water so nicely it it holds water for long time it's hydro hydrophobic i was uh, wondering uh, why sigma has to spend so much of money uh, having a glossy papers of 2000 sheets in a catalog which they give it for free so i asked one of the you know manager right? he then he told me sir uh, after we were also using regular papers to print our uh, uh, you know catalog uh, but uh, uh, we realized that uh, sometime we made a premium uh, uh, you know catalogs where this was containing glossy papers uh, after this because catalog is only for one year 18 19 means again 19 to 20 prices will change you have to get new catalog so it's only for one year so after that one year people use that paper for weighing chemicals so they cut the papers into small small pieces and uh, weigh chemicals like milligrams or grams micrograms like that then we realized that uh, catalog is not only used as a catalog but after its uh, time is over people are utilizing our product um, for weighing chemicals in the laboratory you know in in a high sophisticated laboratory we have plastic uh, you know small small cups where you can weigh but in regular labs where hundreds of phd students are working msc students are working you cannot you cannot have that kind of uh, expensive material so people normally use paper and, and and that is the reason they made it glossy now see how customers are uh, and uh, sigma books are stored very very carefully so it means that the kind of respect they gave to sigma altrich book because we have invested some money on the catalog uh, literally we don't get anything from that by investing such a sophisticated uh, nice papers but people are remembering our company because of the kind of catalog we have so that's how you add value based on the customers uh, usage of your product so that's one uh, you know point i wanted to add and uh, with that note i welcome all of you for this session and uh, two of your uh, uh, you know uh, participants have submitted uh, assignments uh, mr uh, you know where is he is not joined or what uh, babu you know so ramurthy garu also submitted and uh, prasad babu also submitted assignments uh, very nice of you i have gone through prasad babu's assignment uh, and it was really wonderful to you know read uh, his uh, analysis about the case study maybe if he joins i'll ask uh, him to make a presentation here i will pay his write up uh, and uh, and uh, and few more people are uh, you know sub submitting so i'll i'll download them and each of you will get an opportunity to you know uh, put your case here uh, meanwhile today's session also, also, yeah sir also mr rajesh kumar also uh -huh. so do one thing you download all of them uh, keep yes, it. i downloaded uh, dr ramurthy's and rajesh kumar's uh, i have this uh, you know prasad babus if i don't have that, sir, please send it to me i will download and i will share uh, okay so that they can present okay who is this lenova is it prasad babu yeah yeah i don't know he's connecting uh -huh. okay i am forwarding prasad babu to you okay. yes sir mm, that also you you know document and keep it so okay. we'll give them time to display so sure sure
uh, yeah so what we have done today uh, i think uh, all of you would have got uh, uh, information that today's session will be little longer so we will try to wind up morning session little early and take up the afternoon session little late like around 3 o'clock because the speaker who is from iit bombay has some other assignment with uh, uh, some foreign investor or someone uh, so he, he requested from 3 to 6:30 so i agreed okay so i hope you, you guys don't have any problem with that right uh, so today i am going to introduce to you this was a surprise i planned i am going to introduce to you one of our startups mr sandeep iranti Oh, who has already joined the session i want i requested him to explain uh, his uh, journey uh, like how from a problem how from a problem he could uh, find a solution and uh, do a prototype and protect the intellectual property and um, like having patent then uh, went for different designs uh, then uh, how he has uh, come to now to a stage where he could export earlier he was a service oriented uh, startup now it's a product development uh, or manufacturing startup so how that uh, metamorphosis has happened uh, on how many years it took what are the pain points um, so he has uh, consented to address uh, all of you so very nice of him thank you sandeep and uh, sandeep uh, by the way i see this is a faculty entrepreneurship development program so this is a program uh, designed for 10 days to orient and uh, empower and also give them necessary skills uh, you know to yeah. set up this kind of incubation centers or innovation centers in their own colleges some of the faculty are already part of the that they are putting efforts in their colleges and universities to set up innovation cells so yeah. how important uh, these such cells such centers uh, to support the startups like you and your opinion and uh, your what what do you think Uh, can be done in better way uh, because you are also from anantapur and you are a marine engineer so you are yeah. you are uh, inputs listening from the horse's mouth is always uh, you know uh, very yeah. impactful right yeah. so over to you sandeep uh, good morning good morning sir thank you for uh, introduction uh, good morning everybody uh, before that uh, is it okay if you can uh, show your uh, yes face? Uh, <laughs> yeah one second. if bandwidth is not good you can uh, run it back uh, audio uh, one second start with it okay it's dark because your background is bright yeah my background is little bright. little you shift a little towards maybe your left left your window okay fine no problem no problem yeah go ahead yeah thanks you for the introduction sir and uh, thank you for everybody to take your time uh, early in the morning Of course, it's eleven a.m. for us. It's early in the morning. So, yeah. Uh, as you are asking for me, how important the incubation centers are. Initially, uh, even for me, I had no, I, I did not had much idea how an incubation cell would actually work. But uh, by being with you for last uh, two years, I do understand that there are some critical times uh, in our journey that we do not know how to move forward. Right. and we do need uh, support and advice and also uh, you know various uh, insights into the the problem solving where we cannot solve uh, ourselves as a startup so i do believe that incubation cell is uh, a very important role especially for uh, a remote place like anantapur or any other remote places where they put you in your mind increasing the volume uh it's your to speak more loud <laughs> am audience having a... okay one second our audience you can also increase your output volume on your laptop can you hear me sir now yeah, i can hear you mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's fine go ahead so actually i'm using my laptop so i'm not really sure if how uh, how good it is so i'll try to uh, speak much louder so it would be mm -hmm. better for everybody else yeah. or come near to speak around yeah so uh so we started actually we started in 2017 uh, uh our startup actually started with a need we had uh, one of our uh, the founders co-founders of our company was in the solar industry for last uh, 7 to 10 years and they were doing epc epc means like engineering and pro uh, procurement and construction they do install solar power plants and they were in he was in the business for uh, like for 
seven to uh, seven to ten years. So he know what the industry was, and there was a very a growing requirement of cleaning the solar panels, especially in India. They whenever they install the solar panels, they do not actually plan how to clean them. So they do end up uh, facing a lot of issues after installation of solar panels, how to clean it up. So they did had a solar pa solar power plants that on, which is on top of uh, uh, how do you say uh, a canal. So it was the uh, owned by BHL and it was a pilot project and they could not clean the solar panels because they could not access the solar panels because it is on top of a canal, right? So you cannot access it manually. So we started with solving that problem. So we built a prototype in less than a, less than a month because we had a fan support from the owner of the solar power plant. Also, uh, one of our co-founders was the one who did the EPC for that project. So he invested the money and we made a prototype in less than a month and we tested it and it uh, it worked actually. Uh, quite frankly, I, I, even I was surprised that we could actually make it in uh, less than a month and it started working and they're still using it uh, till today. I mean, of course it's a prototype and it's not per as perfect as it should be, but uh, it works, right? And uh, after that, uh, we started, like we saw the, uh, uh, the requirement in the market and there was no solutions that can actually solve the problems. And the solution actually still, still today, there is no perfect solution to solve the, the cleaning issues that solar industry is facing because uh, uh, the the pace at which the solar industry is growing in India, uh, the cleaning industry is not catching up to the, the same speed as it is growing, uh, as the inter installations are going. So we started for two to three years ago and we had a lot of prototypes and then we failed a lot. Then the key to, I, I wouldn't say key to success, but the faster you fail, the faster you learn how to not fail in the future. So we kept failing and then we had a, a little bit of a problem because we spent a lot of money in prototyping and then initial times we did end up uh, spending a lot of money and then we little uh, things got, got little slowed down because we couldn't invest anymore and then we approached the incubation center could you help us to make a prototype or like a rapid prototyping so that we will finally able to you know have a product that can actually work so we approached the incubation cell and they did support us uh, with the prototyping process. And I should say because of them only, we had a prototype that actually works and we was able to uh, go from production, uh, sorry, from prototype to production with the help of uh, incubation cell. Then after that, uh, we had to streamline the marketing and uh, it, when what happens to it as a, a startup and especially a startup with, who makes a new product uh, there is a lot of overhead cost like the documentation you have to have a lot of uh, you know, marketing material and especially when it is a technical product you have to have all the technicalities and is it does it uh, meet the safety standards then initially we we never thought of exporting the product outside india we were only concentrating on how to solve the problem the problem is to clean the solar panels and we wanted to solve that problem because we started as a service industry. Initially, we did not make these machines to sell them. We made these machines to give service, like uh, we make, we install these machines and we clean the solar panels and the client pays us. So they don't have to take care of the machines or the maintenance and everything else. So what we had to do is to make them as efficient and as uh, cheap as possible for us to reduce the capex onto the solar panels uh, and the cleaning the solar panels. So that, that drove us and the product was driven by this uh, need to reduce the price and the capital expenditure. So what we did end up ended up uh, doing is the product is not actually uh, appealing to the uh, owner of the solar panel, but it is actually appealing to the, the person who actually does the cleaning services to the uh, solar power plants. And it actually is the market in India. So, because most of the solar panel, man, uh, the owners of the solar power plants do not actually want to clean their own plants. They want to give service to someone else to take care of the cleaning services. So we did end up with a market where a lot of uh, contractors do want our product. But uh, unfortunately, the Indian market is uh, not very uh, mature because, because of the cheap labor and not comparing our product to the manual cleaning, we were not able to uh, get into the Indian market. 
to sell the machine to the contractor, but we do have services that we give to the solar power plants. Then for, for last, from the last November and December, we started receiving um, requests from uh, other countries because we started marketing material on YouTube, Instagram, and we started digital marketing. Then we actually didn't start it because to send it, to sell it to other countries or to export. We started to uh, pop, make it popular within India itself, but we started receiving uh, inquiries from all over the world. And currently I have uh, two export orders and uh, we, I'm also speaking to like uh, three or four other export uh, uh, orders that uh, currently I'm uh, probably the, the possibility of uh, getting the orders too. So you will never know as Mr. Shivakiran was explaining, you will never know where your product will be and how your customers will use your product. And uh, see, uh, and also on my, my, my a machine is cleaning machine, but one of the client from the Greece uh, is uh, uh, placed an order to use it as a, a coating machine for the solar panels. So they do have a nanotechnology. This uh, startup based in Greece, they have a nanotechnology to coat the solar panels to reduce the uh, uh, to reduce the the, amo the amount of dust that settles on the solar panels. If they do coat this, have a coat nano coating on the solar panels the amount of dust that settles on the solar panel gets reduced. So there they placed an order with us to buy our machine, not to clean, to, but to use our machine to coat the solar panels to their clients. So I would, I, I would have never thought of the, the, the machine could be used like that, but uh, so the, the customer can see how far your, your product can go. So it is always important to keep uh, communicating with your customer and what the requirement is and and be patient and share your details to anybody, even though you think that the person is not your client. You should put, you should, you should keep sending your uh, you know, product details to anyone else that might uh, reuse, uh, repurpose your machines too. So our journey is more of a, a delayed. Like we we did had times that we couldn't uh, move or we couldn't invest or we couldn't sell or we couldn't go into the market and talk to the clients because it is it is so much miscommunication sometimes. So I should uh, heartfully say that incubation has helped us with uh, prototyping also and the, uh, uh, the uh, patenting also. So initially we didn't thought that we require a patent, but uh, uh, with the fear that it's not like we, we actually need the patent, but we made a patent so that uh, we were not sued by the other, uh, by, by other people in the market. So uh, that, that is how the patent was done. And we also have a, a CE certificate that the safety certificate to export to uh, Europe also. That is also made uh, with the help of, uh, uh, sorry, the incubation cell. So, yeah. Uh, that is it, uh, Mr. Shwekaran Garu. Uh, there was one thing uh, like uh, this 3D printing uh, was also yeah. your thinking. No? How other uh, places, uh, you know, not only us, even other people also. Okay, but that also. Sorry? How are you able to access the 3D printing technology uh, through you know, other incubation centers or private partners? How, how in this total industry they, they can use, total echo, or you can use for different aspects? Yes, yes. Uh, and also one of the component we had in our machine that need, we couldn't do it. I mean, we couldn't do it as a, because of the complexity that is involved in the product. So we also approached uh, uh, the incubation cell. They were able to connect us to another incubation cell who had 3D printing and they were able to do the 3D printing. So, right. So I should say uh, without probably uh, without, without the uh, incubator, I would probably say we would have we could have come this far as we could have. Yeah. Do you have any material or any video to share to our audience? Uh, I haven't uh, prepared okay. for any. Uh, no problem. Video. I will. Uh, what I do is uh, I will share your website. Yeah. Sure. I think that yeah. would do speak. Right. Yes. Sure. In the website itself, uh, we have uh, their video. How uh, they are cleaning. What you do is. Uh, I am going to share the screen. Yeah. Uh, I kept their website open also. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, so audience can see their website as well. So this is what um, you know. 
uh, you can see there one person is standing and uh, meaning something there is a panel left side very blue and on the other side it is a little grayish there's a lot of dust accumulated and uh, um, this this is the product uh, there's a long robot it's, it's not actually, robot it's a uh, module very very old one we have to update old model yeah. Uh -huh. yeah but but they say in the sense that is what it does right yes yeah. what are you do it but that's what it does at the end of the day Yes. So this is what this product uh, looks like. Engineering is there. There is a convenience and there is a personal thing. And uh, this is the you know they had different uh, uh, time to clean table schedule. So here I will can show you their video also. Wonderful that is that, uh, Mr. Sandeep, uh, the way you have achieved uh, your uh, journey and, uh, and you know, I was more fascinated about how this, uh, you know, passing on the baton, they call it, your product is uh, taken to next level when those, those uh, new inno innovators from Greece wanted to use that yeah. for cleaning. Yes, uh, yes. Probably would not have thought to put it, you would have thought only for cleaning. But yes, somebody actually, has imagined your product in a different way. I did meet a person in a bioplastic conference who does the same thing. Actually, he's from India. Huh. I was actually suggesting that we may be able to use our machine to coat the solar panel. It was just a thought. Then uh, it actually came true. So I didn't uh, stress more on it. But the client uh, itself uh, figured it out it can be used for that. Right. right. So, so one more point. Uh, uh, for the participant, you see, he was he made a very important uh, observation. Digital marketing plays very important role because yes. the, how many people you go and reach with pamphlets, newspaper ads, TV ads? Now TV viewership is coming down on the internet viewership has gone up. Yeah. At yes. any given point of time, it really it is estimated that 2.5 billion people are there. On the internet. It's bigger yeah. than any nation, yeah. <laughs> for that matter. So digital marketing costs you very, 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 very less, very minuscule. Okay, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, you know, many yeah. such uh, platforms you can look. I uh, think there is a session uh, down the line uh, where uh, some expert will talk about digital marketing. And yeah. he's, uh, he was also making another point, the so mapping the market. Yeah. So initially he felt that uh, first they were service oriented uh, professionals, they would take the robot and get it, you know, panels clean and come back. So yeah. then again, they changed the uh, entire business model from not only servicing, but added a new you know, product development. Yeah. 
Yeah. So service to manufacturing. So because that was the need of the hour. So they had to evolve. They cannot stick to, oh, I have started a service person. Let me be service yeah. oriented. Yeah. You have to move on. You have to evolve. But their yeah. core, their core problem is to clean the solar panels at minimum cost and minimum damage. That yeah. was the, their, uh, that was their, uh, you know, tag. I mean, their purpose. So purpose yeah. is being served, whether you are doing service or manufacturing. So, uh, as we said in design thinking, yesterday's class also, the purpose should not change. The method of delivery can change. Even actually in our product, initially the machine was, uh, see the, the, the entire goal was to clean the solar panel. Then we understood that the machine is too big to transport from the factory to the plant. So what we did is we started assembling the machine at the plant site. Then we understood it is very expensive. Then we had to redesign. We had to come back to the whiteboard and then we have to redesign that we have to keep make it into smaller parts so that we can ship it out. And then we have to give the instructions to the buyer so that they can assemble it there. So then we started to make uh, like for an eight meter machine, we started to make it into four pieces and then ship it out. And then th we had requirements like from some of the clients that they want to use the same machine on different sizes. So then we started exploring what can we do for this and now we are currently in the development we that the same machine can be used on different solar panels at different sizes of the solar the panels so that the the initial investment for the client is much lesser than buying a uh, multiple machine right so again another point uh, which i can relate to design thinking in the design thinking there are five steps initially you empathize then you uh, quantify uh, then you ideate, then you prototype it, then you test it. So these guys have done this cycle of several times. Once they went to client, they understood the problem. Again, they came back to the boardroom. Then they yeah. redesigned the product, which suits the client requirement. Um, uh, they have done this uh, cycle several times. And the cycle will keep on continuing. If they want to stay in market ahead of their competitors, yeah. the testing, uh, feedback taking, then again remodifying, then testing, then go to the market. So this cycle is a perennial. This has to yeah. go on and on and on all the time. As long yeah. as you want to stay in market, you have to do this cycle. So yeah. once you make a product, you cannot think that, oh, I have done my job over. No, never. Yeah. It's not a product that they are doing, selling. They are selling the value, yeah. <laughs> saving the time, saving yeah. the resources. Yeah. Convenience is what they are selling, not the product. Product yeah. is a means to achieve that. So that yes. one has to mind, you know, keep that in mind. Yes. <laughs> so, so, and yeah, when a digital marketing is one thing. So another thing is they are trying to map the correct market for them. Say first they trade in India. Then they realized uh, the Indian is not right to ripen market for the solar industry at this point of time. So they went, they, okay, let, let us not get into India uh, completely. We'll also explore the global, you know, customers. So that's how they could tap uh, the customers from Greece. And, uh, yeah. Since they had gone to export, uh, they were asked to get C certified. Otherwise, they would not have thought about it. <laughs> Maybe yeah. later point of time, they might think, but at this point of time, they would not have thought. So mm -hmm. C is a certification you would have seen on laptops, mobile phones, all electronic items. When, when it is crosses one country to another country, especially in Europe, uh, you know, from Asian countries, you need that certification. So like how we have FSSA or BA certification, you are CE for all these electronic goods. Yeah. So since they have got C certification, um, they not only Greece, any country they can seamlessly do it in the European Union. So yeah. that is one, um, you know, uh, that's a one. That's how you grow. That's how you grow. You cannot uh, yeah. see the end point at this point of time. Yeah. As you keep move, moving, the path will be cleared. Many times students yeah. will come and ask, sir, what will happen if market is not available? What will happen if some uh, new competitor comes? Anything can happen. We yeah. don't even know. Okay. <laughs> So unless you move forward with a limited lamp, uh, you can only walk as, as long as the light uh, you yes, know, falls right. from the lamp. Yes. If you walk further, the lamp also comes with you and the path is also clear. Yes. I you know. So wonderful. And, and, and by the way, this, uh, you know, these people also got patent. And patent was also not an uh, easy task for Sandeep. It was a super poster for them. So we assigned uh, some yeah, reputation. It took uh, like about three years. years even to file the... Yes, it took almost three years for them because that was a good thing. See, his, his intention was not to get royalty or anything because he understood that there are such products already in the market. So they, his, their, uh, their, their, their requirement of patent was to protect themselves from uh, you know, other guys uh, suing them in case there is an infringement. Because 
uh, inter, the subject is very vast and uh, you know products are so many we don't know where we, where we are infringing or where we are copying without knowledge not that uh, somebody does uh, intentionally but if something happens and nobody bothers as small small companies but when you are getting uh, when you are gaining the name over the year definitely people will start digging and looking out hmm? yeah so making name takes a lot of time but you know getting uh, you know very negative criticism is very easy nowadays Mm. uh and and, and it, uh, it jeopardizes the whole philosophy or company and you may have to close your company so faculty also should ensure that your students when they are doing this check about the technologies it's not that they want to protect but you should also ensure that they are not copying from somewhere uh, with a due respect uh, due acknowledgement so that also they have to ensure that because after they make everything when it is commercialized if somebody sues it will be very bad yeah uh, so good and deep so and can you can you give some uh, information about uh, like uh, sales revenue no need to be a very you know, you know it's just general how i means to to give a context of how the growth uh, happened since 2017 till date yeah so since the, our first client was in 2017 the bhl uh, it was an experimental uh, plant for them so it was also a service uh but uh, we sold it to the it was a different company right so we sold it to the, the other company uh, then we started uh, with uh, there is a plant in uh, karnool uh, by for, for adani then we installed their uh, four four machines there and then we went to uh, uh, madurai in tamil nadu they also there is also adani plant and there also we installed uh, four machines and then uh, after that we had some issues with the uh, the machine right the machine was not fully developed then we had some issues with that and then we had to stop uh, we had to stop making new machines until the, it is it is it's even fixed so we we took uh, support from the incubation then we got uh, uh, one more machine uh, sold to uh, b electric in hyderabad and then we have another machine after that sold to a, a client in khammam i think yeah khammam uh, and then uh, after that uh, we had uh, another uh, machine in karnool itself for green co and then now we have uh, one machine uh, that will be installed in karnool again and then there are two export orders that we will be shipping out uh, in next uh, one week or 10 days so the growth has been up and down and we did had uh, uh, profits uh, this year until uh, until last year we did not had profits because we invested a lot of money and uh, there is a lot of uh, what is called uh, initial uh, prototyping and we wasted a lot of money in development So, so it means saw, so that uh, first two three years you have spent a lot of resources on researching, prototyping, understanding customer, yes. and uh, you know pro, uh, then building of the infrastructure. So that's where yes. we could not get the profits. Yes. Uh, though the, there was sales, but a uh, lot of money go, gone into you know yes. building. I mean, we did invest, we did get the money back, but it we couldn't say we had profits. Like we st- we were still right. in losses. Uh, so that is a point uh, for startup who are into this manufacturing and uh, you know product uh, yeah. product development uh, that kind of things it takes uh, especially if there is a uniqueness and uh, something yeah. you have to build from the scratch uh, yeah. it would take 3 to 4 years so you know for anybody to at least uh, uh, raise some profits okay so you have to be very patient with uh, students or startups uh, especially of this kind Uh, because it is a physical product that is entirely new the challenges mm-hmm. are much higher and i would suggest the technical the technical strength you have should be more than good enough for what you are doing because i am a marine engineer i am a mechanical engineer as a, as a, as by education and a marine engineer by profession so i have seen the supply chains i have seen the manufacturing i have seen the assembly i have seen the manufacturing so that is where my strength comes in so if your team do not have the right person to address the main uh, problem that you're trying to solve the main problem that we were trying to solve is a technology right without the machine nothing else matters 
So if the machine doesn't work, as if the machine was not able to clean the solar panels, whatever we do, it doesn't really matter. So we have to get the machine right. So that was my strength. Without that, the machine wouldn't be possible. So if you have a startup or whatever it is, the, 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 if the problem you're trying to solve, you can only solve it. No outsourcing, no one else can help you to solve. You mean to say like uh, whatever problem it is, you play uh, on your strength. Yes. You bet on your strength. Yeah. So, so if I give this same thing to biology fellow, your own cleaning problem, you might be looking at different perspective. You might also end yeah. up with some product, some kind of biofilm or something. But at the end of the day, you have to play around the strength you have got. So yeah. What does the problem? That's what you mean to yeah. say. Yeah. So that's part C. That is very important. He's being a mechanical engineer and marine engineer. Uh, he has used his skills and his... Uh, knowledge and education to address this problem if the same thing a chemical engineer uh, student uh, look, might, if, if he wants to look at that he might be doing some kind of a chemical coating on the panel yeah. that's yeah. what i think these people would be doing that yeah. so that's how they they would like to address the problem so problems can be approached and addressed in different ways yeah. but more important thing for a startup is you build on your strength yeah build play play where what do you call that uh, play in your own turf uh, that's yeah. what they say so that, that's that's what uh, it's going on and and i wanted to ask you one more thing so way, how do you see the growth uh, uh, in in general for you in next few years how you want to move ahead so uh, the one thing we lack right now is uh, streamlined because as of now as i said uh, we were moving in a jumbled manner like okay we have a machine and then we have a requirement and then we iterate it to the client and then you no know, until now, we did not, we did not had enough data to streamline it and to standardize it. So, in in coming next one to two years, I would say I would streamline it as much as possible, and I would concentrate more on digital marketing and put up for the. Uh, for me, right now is the most uh, challenging thing right now is to make the customer understand that the machine, how the machine actually works, and how it can actually help them. I mean. They can see the video, but uh, it can only give them so much idea that it is good at cleaning. But there are a lot of challenges and doubts that might have. Uh, how what about maintenance? What about how long it will last? Will it break down in a couple of days like other machines do? Because most of the machines they import from China and they have usually have bad experiences from them. So we have to make sure that they do not. Uh, the, the client do wants to buy another machine, but we have to make sure that they believe that this machine will work for them so currently uh, my challenge is to work on uh, is this what sandeep um, you had problem you <laughs> initiated <laughs> yeah 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 so yeah. that's what you're trying to say earlier you are doing a lot of research and uncertainty jumbled yeah. Yeah. so you you're not taking way, in different ways but again you have to keep going that's that's see there is a lot of jumbling here but the line keeps going right so it right. doesn't it didn't stop somewhere i'm not saying that you have to go blindly, but you should know that uh, you, if if you think that it actually solves the problem, let's say my machine actually clean the solar panel, that is where the myth ends, right? There is no uh, myth there. The only problem is how to sell it. Until unless you have, uh, if you know that you actually have a right product for the right customer, and the only problem is now is to solve uh, to solve that uh, the barrier between the buyer and the seller. Okay, nice. Many Thank times, you, uh, startups, what they do is they caught up in, uh, sometimes they, they, get, they do get caught up in a false assumption like, let's say Facebook. Either. See, it's not possible to kill Facebook. If you want to do kill Facebook, you have to create your own Facebook, which is, again, Facebook is in, at a point where it is not a part of internet, it is internet, right? So, just like Tesla did with the car, right? They didn't compete with that, uh, gasoline engines. They made their own world. So if you want to uh, compete with the giants, you have to make your own game. And uh, yeah, uh, one more thing. So can you explain about uh, uh, who are team? How did you build a team? Like, uh, did you not have any problem with the team breaking apart? This you commonly see founders, co-founders going away. And another yeah. thing is... Uh, uh, there were any downsides, uh, like some point of time you would have felt, Are, uh, let me stop here, let me go to job, because uh, nothing is happening. Uh, you would have seen, uh, you know, blank walls uh, many times. <laughs> uh, how did you, you know, uh, 
Yeah, our our team was as I said initially we had uh, LGPC co-founder uh, who had very uh, he had a very tough financial year last year, so he couldn't uh, keep going with us and he keep uh, taking money out of our startup because he has another company who uh, he actually invested a lot in our company. Then he couldn't invest it anymore and uh, he had to back you now uh, exit the company. Yes, the things do happen. Now he wants to join back, but you know the, the thing sometimes is uh, having the balanced mind. You have to see through the, the jibber jabber that you have locally. You have to you have you have to look forward. Okay, okay, something is going on right now, and what will happen next five years? That is how you make. That is how you take a decision right now. Just because we are in a financial uh, you know, turmoil or in in, in a in a bankruptcy situation, you cannot take decisions uh, to solve the current issue so that the future endeavors that we have also get jeopardized. Right? So even now, if they do have a requirement, we do sell them directly. But the co-founder has left. But we were like three founders, and we are only now two. And we do have uh, the marketing, the social, uh, sorry, digital marketing person. And we do have uh, how would say. Uh, uh, the backend team who does the uh, 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 the digital marketing is one thing and the sales you have another person for sales and I take care of all the design but whenever when it comes to sales because we are a so, small team again the, the inquiry does come uh, towards me because if there is a the question here because as I said the the challenge that I'm facing right now is the streamline right we do have like four people here, but still, I couldn't uh, really uh, streamline the things that they will do what they want because whenever everything, whatever they want to do, it always comes back to me. So, we do have four people team one for digital marketing. I, I take care of the engineering, and there is another guy for sales, and there is another guy. For sales. Okay, Andy, I think I got an amazing uh, session with you. It was wonderful. You gave 360 degree perspective of how startups. Uh, you know, would uh, journey uh, would take place, and uh, what hurdles you'll have? How do you solve it? And how do you identify a problem and come with a solution? That was really wonderful. And uh, maybe if you can give me another five minutes, I'll open a Q and A from audience. If it's okay with you. So, audience. Uh, see, most of the audience are professors, faculty. Uh, you know, uh, and some of them are social workers. So they might have some questions. So dear participants, uh, you know, Mr. Sandeep would like to answer some of your questions if you have any. Okay, I take that as a, that uh, uh, all of you are okay with that and you don't have any questions to raise. Uh, okay, uh, Sandeep, thank you very much, uh, you know, for coming in, joining, and uh, giving your inputs and spending time with us. Yep. So hope thank to you see so much you much uh, often. Okay, bye. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, so <clears throat> today's topic was supposed to be uh, how to evaluate ideas technically then followed by feasibility check okay now why i brought this video was uh, with this uh, mr sandeep into this picture was to give continuum from the yesterday's uh, design thinking to uh, how to know whether your idea works so this is a case study typical case study we build on this case study and uh, talk about that okay uh, what we do right now is uh, we'll, uh, now it's 11.30.